Hey guys, welcome back to King's Quest Chapter 5, The Good Knight. In the last episode we did find uh, all of the uh, keys, so we're going to use them now on this uh, back gate I lock. I up security on that back gate to make sure no Edsel walls could break in. The lock was crafted from very rare... Okay, so let's go and use these keys. Uh, one at a time here, we're going to put them all in. Uh, back gate, uh, back gate key one of four. We've got um, three of four here, and uh, two of four. I remembered where all the keys were, and the lock was open, which proved my mind was still quick. I pocketed the chromium. It was too rare to leave sitting on the ground. Okay, so Graham just said there that he proved his mind was still quick, so you're going to have to remember that a little bit later. That is actually a bit of a clue. And uh, the path to the west here is overgrown, so the only way for us to go is up towards the well. And uh, this is where we actually began. Um, King's Quest Chapter 1 started right here. Looked a little bit different. There's a lot of uh, thorns growing around the place now. So let's lower the rope. Graham is uh, still quite nimble for his old age. I'm gonna feel that for the next ten years. I don't remember adventures being so hard on the knees. Forget leg day. I need to strengthen these ankles day. Uh, okay, so we don't want to use this switch on the left because obviously we're going to get trapped <laughs> by that bed. So let's use the one on the right here. Well, I didn't feel that one. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Keep your eyes peeled, Gordon. He should be here any second. You know how I feel about that name. Fine, Mordak. Open your eyes. Look alive. Don't screw this up. Screw this up? Might I remind you, it's my magic keeping you alive. Yes, and when your magic concocts a working batch of Cosmolotion, I'll praise you. But my patience has grown thin, and I will not tolerate any more mistakes. Brother, I warned you to stay away from those potions. You wouldn't hear it. I've wasted 30 years of my life trying to duplicate Hagatha's formula. And I'm afraid at this point, I'm ready to move forward or move on. Is your mind slipping in your golden years? Have you forgotten everything I've sacrificed for you? I took you in from the cold. I saved you from a life of goblin slavery. And you have the gall to complain about 30 measly years? Well, sometimes it still feels like I'm a slave to a goblin. Hold your tongue, Morden. Or I will. Okay, so let's go up and have a chat with uh, Mordok, M Mordak, uh, first of all. See if he'll let us past. 
Mordak, didn't I extinguish your flame years ago? I was hiding under the floorboards. I knew it. How's the family? Getting along surprisingly well since you shrunk them. So glad to hear that. Uh-huh. You mind moving out of the way? I have some business to attend to with your boss. Mananin has strictly forbidden me to let you pass. Unless you can convince me that your mind is still strong and quick. And how might I go about that? Follow those clearly labeled signposts. Of course. Bring me back proof that you have completed each trial, and then I will escort you to Mananin. I know you won't answer honestly, but I'll ask anyway. Is all this some form of an elaborate trap designed to crush my bones, yank my arms out, or contort my body into a twisted sculpture of death? No. Oh, sounds like some good clean fun. Okay, so we, we need to convince Mornak that Graham's mind is strong and quick. There's a little sign here pointing the way to a crystal cave. So we're going to head over to the crystal cave to prove that our mind is strong. Um, Mordak has let down this bridge. So we're going to run across and um, head into the cave. I can't figure out if something just broke or snapped back into place. these stories you know, in a long time. Your ears are all red. Just uh, give me a moment. This part gets a little wacky. I think I should uh, rest a bit first. You mind getting Grandma in here? I'll be back after your nap. Get your rest, dear. I'll be back after dinner. I'll be fine. Take your time. Just ring the bell if you need me. Good night, my love.
wondered where you went off to. No, it's not time yet. I was promised another. I'll fight it, I assure you. But... You're right. You've always been a straight shooter. It's true. The mirror never promised I would live another adventure. Only that my adventure would live on. Just let me say goodbye. It's a toxic fume, I'm afraid. One that is said to challenge the strength of the mind. Okay, your memory is fading to prove that your mind is still strong. You must survive your own thoughts. Um, so here we are back in uh, King's Quest 1. Queen Valenys, please with you to stay. Dear, you are pushing yourself too hard. Please don't engage with Mananan. Stay here and be with our family. I can never leave the kingdom in this wretched state for our children. Um, we got the, <laughs> the thrones there. The magic mirror on the wall. Let's have a look at the mirror. You see a man who has a lot of unresolved business to attend to. That is King Graham. Now we've got Prince Alexander here. Rosella and I can work to restore the kingdom. Please let us help you. Uh, you don't need to face Mananan al alone. I'm afraid I have to, son. Uh, let's talk to uh, Princess Rosella. Dad, you've given us everything we need. All we need now is you. There are still plenty of treasures I wish to leave for you. So we've got uh, four out of eight uh, points here. It's not a lot of points uh, we need to get. Let's go and pick up this locket. You find a golden locket on the ground and put it in your pocket. You're not uh, sure what this treasure is for, but you are sure you'll need it later. So we've got another point there. We're going to head down and have a look at uh, the, uh, the uh, Achaka. Uh, statue. Behind a chucker's bust you can see a random string of pearls. Uh, let's go and pick up those pearls. You pick up the valuable but useless pearls and store them in your seemingly endless pocket. Now I think we can have a look at another one of these statues. Let's have a quick look here. Uh, not that one there. Look at armor. I don't understand armor <laughs> because it's spelt wrong. So in the old games you needed to spell things exactly right uh, otherwise the computer wouldn't understand what you were talking about. Let's head out of here. These small bushes in the background hold vast amounts of valuable yet useless treasure. You store it all in your magically never filled pockets. Okay, so we've got 8 out of 8 points now, and there is the other uh, monster in the moat just in front of the castle there. I think they used to be crocodiles actually in King's Quest 1. Now, going over this bridge in King's Quest 1 was incredibly difficult. <laughs> it's so easy to fall off. Um, this time, however, the bridge is going to disappear. We at Sierra wish to thank you for playing King's Quest. We are very sorry that you did not succeed and hope you will fare better next time. Good luck. And now here we are, I believe it's King's Quest V in the Realm of the Dead. Um, what we had to do in that game was play the bones over here. This skeleton over here had a key uh, attached to his side and when we made him dance the key fell down. He doesn't have a key this time but uh, we can still play <laughs> this tune anyway. Um, <laughs> there we go, and that's all we can do here, as far as I'm aware. So let's head out the door. King Graham? Is that you? Of course it is. I'd recognize that mosque anywhere. It's the smell of legend. And sour cherries. Uh, with a hint of 
mustard. Uh, uh, but mostly legend. Went he? Bravo! Wait, if you're here, does that mean that I am... Calm down, Sugar Muffin. It's hardly your time yet. We're just here to help you navigate your heart. Oh? And what's my heart telling you? That I need one last piece of advice? <laughs> Perhaps on outsmarting many? <laughs> Or how I can make sure the legacy of King Graham will come past and it will not be left behind. Hmm. Looks like you've got the recipe for legacies uh, mixed up. Oh, legacies are not about what you leave behind for people. They're about what you leave inside of people. Oh, your kingdom is best left for the young, Graham. That's it? You don't have any puns? an item to give me that will eventually solve all my troubles? We've given all we have to give. You're going to have to figure out the rest of it alone. Wake up, Graham. Your mind is strong. <gasps> Okay, so we have proven that our mind is strong uh, by picking up the germite crystal. Great. Set that over there, and let me know when you've completed the trial of speed. Now, this had me confused for a little while because he did say trial of speed, but it's actually proving that your mind is quick. And uh, we've done that already by getting the chromium lock. Uh, the chromium lock proof my mind was still quick. So let's give him this. Excellent. Right this way, please. Well, where is he? Meow. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You wish to challenge me like this? Careful what you say, King. My species has no bearing on my abilities. I have no problems with cats, Manny, or goblins, or sphinxes. My issues are all with you. No matter. The duel hasn't even begun, yet I've already won. Are you aware that you've hand-delivered everything I need to complete another batch of Cosmolotion? Shocker. Allow me to explain that you, King Graham the Imbecile, have once again... Yeah, 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 yeah. Wax poetic for two more hours, won't you? Pardon my vacant expression, though. I can barely hear out of my left ear anymore. Fine. Have it your way. I'll speak with brevity. Long sentences. Drawn-out syllables to emphasize a point. Raising my voice. More sesquipedalian words. Overuse of the term moron. And I'll need a hair from your beard for my final ingredient. See what's sundown? down? Meet me at the floating island. Good chat.
Dad, we brought you some treats. Dad? Oh. Wow. Grandpa! Oh. Dad, say something. Gwendolyn, go get the nursemaids. No. What do you want me to do? Wh what can I get you? You want mom? Mom! Story. Sorry? No, story. The story. Help me finish it. Let's get him back in bed. Grab his feet. Try to escape. I thought I needed one more adventure. One last trophy to hang on these shelves. But the only treasures I need are standing right beside me. It's okay, love. You can stop fighting. It's time. Not before my story is done. You have to finish it. Me? I don't know how it ends. I'll help you. I, I can't. I'm not ready. Gart should tell it. Grandfather's passing his hat to you. I think you should take it. Grandpa, the greatest adventurer to ever live, would do anything in his power to protect his family. As the sun set atop the floating island, Mordak placed the final goblet down for a toxic duel of wits. That's a great start. Welcome, friend. I'm glad you could make it. Mananith restored himself back into human form using the ingredients Grandpa had unknowingly brought to him. But he was weak. The germite crystal was the only thing keeping him alive. Mordak has carefully designed a series of trials to test our wits. Don't worry, he hasn't given me any answers. Some of the goblets have been topped with hypnotic powder. We will complete each station individually. If you drink from any of the tainted cups, you will lose and be under my spell. And vice versa. The goblets have been set up in stations, each with their own rules. I'll spare you the long speech and just let you read the rules. Ready to prove a goblin is smarter than a man? <laughs> <laughs> 